Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Astronomers have discovered that Earth has a second moon. Sort of. The object is an asteroid designated 2016-H03 that has been captured by Earth's gravity. It loops around Earth as we make our way around the Sun. The asteroid never comes closer than about 38 times the distance between Earth and the Moon and never strays farther than about a hundred times the distance between Earth and the Moon. The asteroid 2016 H03 is tiny, 300 feet in diameter at the largest. The astronomers at NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory who have been observing it estimate that it's been a companion of Earth for about a century and will remain so for at least several hundred more years. Next up, an international team of astronomers has found evidence of oxygen in a galaxy that existed less than a billion years after the Big Bang. The galaxy, called SXDF NB1006-2, that's a catchy name, is one of the most distant ever discovered, nearly 13 billion light years away from Earth. It formed a mere 700 million years following the Big Bang. A team of astronomers from the UK, Sweden, and Japan studied the galaxy using the European Southern Observatory's ALMA radio telescope and found evidence of stars containing significant amounts of oxygen, the most distant and therefore earliest oxygen ever detected. Astronomers were observing the ancient galaxy in the hopes of learning more about the period of reionization, when the universe went from being opaque to transparent as it is today. This finding suggests that the ionization process was well underway 700 million years after the Big Bang, being driven by massive, brilliant oxygen-containing stars like the ones detected in galaxy SXDF NB1006-2. The paper on this finding is published in the journal Science. And finally, biomedical researchers have found a way to repair bone defects using lab-grown living bone. Researchers at Columbia University have been able to repair large bone defects in patients' heads and faces using customized living bone grown in the laboratory from the patient's own stem cells. The technique allows new bone to be generated that exactly replicates the original anatomical structure of the feature being repaired. The technique involves creating a scaffold which matches the structure of the bone being repaired, then isolating stem cells from the patient and using them to grow new bone within the scaffold. Researchers also found, to their surprise, that the lab-grown bone was gradually replaced by new bone once implanted in the patient's body. The technique is about to begin clinical trials, and if it eventually receives FDA approval, it could be revolutionary for those who suffer from craniofacial defects. The study is published in the journal Science Translational Medicine. One team of astronomers discovers a new quasi-satellite attached to Earth, Another team of astronomers finds evidence of oxygen in the ancient universe, and bioengineers find a way to repair bone defects using living bone grown from the patient's own stem cells. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, won't we, Adi Kings?